Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to my Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. Uh, we are just about to head downstairs into where uh, the head gailer is. And after which we'll continue on to another section. So, here's the thing. We have a large room, it looks like a large single room. We've got guards here. And then we've got the head gailer somewhere in there. There we go. Head gailer, Alephen. Uh, I was told to talk to the guards to tell them to get out of here before the uh, head gailer gets to them. So, I'm going to do that. Even as the combat starts. You must not disturb the master. I, I forgot I can pause during the conversation. Snap out of it. Get out of here. It's not safe. Success. And I'm going to go over here. To this former guard. Oh, god damn. Get out of melee. Get out of melee. Alright, head over here. To this former guard. And talk to him. Once again, I will try to persuade him. Success. Are there any more guards? Yeah, there's one over here. Head over there. And this guy. Come on. Alright, snap out of it. Failure. And try again. Failure. Come on. Do it. Fucking A. Just spamming failures. Can I not persuade this guy? There we go. Finally, success. If you don't, if you don't at first succeed, try, 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 try again. Apparently. Yeah, if only tabletop were that good, where you just keep spamming uh, attempts until something happens. Come on. Come on. Succeed, goddammit. Holy shit. Come on, I know I'm not that ugly. I guess the more you... The more that you, uh... The more that you try, or the more that you free... The heart... The, uh... the harder the DC is. I don't think I can actually succeed on this guy. But a natural 20 should succeed. Actually, where's my, uh, where's the combat? Combat's still going on over there. Intellect Devourer. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to melee him. Man, my, my summons were just going to town on this guy while I was convincing the guards to get out. Well, if that guy won't be talked out, then uh, we know what to do here. All right, you, yeah. See, he goes ahead and uh, activates as a as a hostile. Now we'll just melt acid arrow him. Foosh! God damn it! Where's the intellect devourer? Oh, there he is. Run! Take this thing out. Yeah, this is... If this is a confusing uh, combat, it's because... Uh, I guess you really have to have your shit together in order to persuade these guards not to throw their own lives away. Okay, was that a win? No, he's still, he's still there. God damn it! Attack it! Yeah, an intellect devourer is like a mind flayer's dog. Pretty much. Come on. Take it out. It's almost dead. There we go. Thank God. I didn't lose anybody either. Confusing boss fight. But it got done. I got the devourer's brain. Now let's see what else we got in here. We've got um, a couple things we can loot. Start over here with this crate. Potion. 
Anything over there? Nope. Wait, yeah, there is. I'm gonna get this first. It's another crate. With another potion. I'm gonna come over here. And grab that box. With money. And yeah, I know there's a chest. I'll get to it in a moment. Got this chest, which... Let's see if I can't I can't unlock it before I try it. Fair unlock. Unlock it. Unlock it. Fair Failure. Now go ahead, Charwin. Come on. Let me loot this. They destroyed it. They destroyed it anyway. Oh, well. Let's hope they didn't break anything. Just had money in it. God damn, I feel kind of gypped. Or whatever the term is. Oh, crap. Trap. A light crossbow plus one, which is going to replace my current crossbow. Alright. And I will eventually throw some uh, some more bolts in. So that is that. Let us head out of here. And um, actually, uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the stone to recall because I don't I don't think I need much at all beyond that. But then I've got to I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna head back into the Peninsula District to turn in what quests I I have. And actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to talk to uh, to Arabeth while I'm here. Welcome. Do you have news okay, I've recovered one of the reagents for the cure. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Explain about the intellect devourer in the prison. How much in my debt? Are we talking like a thousand gold or so? Five hundred pieces? This is an outrage. Uh, we'll go with you are most generous for now. For now. I need to talk to you. Let me go ahead and sell some stuff and then I'm going to continue on my way. Do my best to answer what questions I may. I have the city. Is there something else I can help you with? Yeah. I need to actually well, talk to her from the very get go. There we go. Let me sell some shit. Alright, on my way to the next one. Uh, I think that I need to go turn in one of the quests to the Mage Tower real quick. And even though I, I think this one might. Uh, might have to be done in a certain order. Are you back to Evaluate me for guild membership. You were sent for four regions. You do not have them. Return when you do. Bit of clay, flask of water, puff of fog. Okay. Etc, etc. So I can't do this yet. But I could buy some more spells. Uh, before I leave, let me try and, and see if she'll sell me some basics. Because if I can buy knock, Are you back to uh, if I can buy the knock spell, that would be awesome. Yeah, here we go. Is it worth purchasing? I haven't found any yet, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, and purchase it. And that's actually going to be able to be... Uh, Scribed. And then what else do I need? Don't think I actually need any weapons. Nymph cloak plus one might be useful. I don't know. All of this stuff seems kind of low end. That's not bad. Skill bonus, concentration, spellcraft, and spell resistance. Versus just fire resistance. But it's expensive. I have to come back for it. 
Mage's battle robe is not a bad robe. Let's head on our way. Um, I'm going to hit the Peninsula District real quick, and I will see you at the turn end. All right, I'm at the guard headquarters. Hello there. I'm glad to see people alive. I'm not sure what happened in the prison, but whatever Man. it was, it's had a big effect on everyone out here. The voice acting all of a sudden just fell off a cliff. What the fuck happened to her? The escape prisoners seem to be a little bit, little less vicious. Certainly they are still dangerous, but whatever was driving the riot seems to be gone. I have no explanation. Head Gale or Elephin was controlled by something. Yes, I heard it was the Water Davian Intellect Devourer. Nice secret keeping. I also heard that you turned the remains of it into Arabeth. Good work. Her word is good enough proof that you did the job. I assume that 300 gold uh, danger pay is sufficient. Let's try persuasion. Success. True, you appear to have performed admirably under such pressure. Here, take 375 gold then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare that report to present to Lord Nasher. He, he is not well, but news of your success which should lift his spirit some. Okay. Um, next, we're going to hit up... Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, the Beggar's Nest. Or maybe the Docks District. Now, let's try the Beggar's Nest. And I will see you when I get there. Alright, I am at the Beggar's Nest. Let's uh, head on in. Citizen, you should speak with me before going through this gate. Alright, what do you want? RPG Crawler, I've heard of what you are doing in Neverwinter. I'm sure you'll sort out the Beggar's Nest in no time. Ugh, I'm sorry, give me a moment. The smell of the burning corpses is getting to me. As if the plague isn't bad enough on its own. And now the Beggar's Nest is even worse. Have you heard? It's a nightmare in there. Zombies are everywhere. We're keeping the city's core secure, but damned if we can do much for the nest. Um, farewell. Wish me luck. I will, but don't hold uh, much hope for the district. It's worse hit by the plague, and now the undead are killing everything. Uh, now, here's the thing. I usually do this with the cleric companion, and the cleric companion usually just melts everything with turn undead. So this is actually going to be more challenging for me than usual. Greetings! Come to join the legions of the damned, have you? The beggar's nest is the closest thing to the hells on Faerun. Zombies are all over. If you want to patrol, go ahead. But you take care. Enough people have died already. Okay, are there any safe locations? A couple, I suppose, but it depends on what you call safe. I don't put much stock in what some people are spouting. So who would you trust? What's the safest place? You'll be looking for Harbin Ashensmith. He knows what's what. Probably at the Shining Serpent, the safest, pl safest place in the district. It's in the south-central area of the nest. That's where I'd go. Bunch of realists looking for solid ways to survive. Okay, you don't agree with some people's methods of helping? It's not for me to say. If you want a safer location, I'll tell you about the Sanctuary Deathers Helmites sent up in the southwest. I'll also tell you, however, that I wouldn't go there. Sure, the zombies avoid it, but I just don't put much stock in them Helmite blessings. Myself, I prefer a sword in hand to some foolish hope in my head. I'd recommend you talk to Harbin Ashen Smith and the Shining Serpent instead. Alright, sure thing. Farewell. I'd get yourself to the Shining Serpent, etc., etc. Let's go ahead and pop our... Um... Our Summon Creature 3. And get Mage Armor up. And, um... Head on in. There's going to be a lot of side looting in here. If I remember right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go along the south end right now. Not because I remember it terribly well, but because uh, I'm closest. Oh nice, a bolt! Which means I can actually start... I can actually fire a single shot at some point. God damn it, I forgot to buy bolts. In fact, you know what? Before I get too far in, I'm going to head out and buy some bolts. Alright, I got bolts, got ammunition. Um, you know, the shop that is right outside of the Beggar's Nest also has eventually uh, some magic item creation, I believe. So if you're into that sort of thing and you're playing a melee type character, then that is where you go. Oh shit, there's uh, creatures out here. Let's kill these guys. Weak zombies. Okay, who is this citizen? Wait, there's still more zombies. 
Holy crap, my my wolf's just tearing into him. Okay. Yo, citizen, what's up? Thank you for saving me. A little bit of experience gain. Because I got to uh, the citizen before the undead. And see, there's another problem I have with this district is that the zombies are so close together that you can just chain the entire district almost. Just constantly triggering shit to encounter. More zombies. Let's take this weak zombie out. I like how my bolts actually do something against these zombies when they're not really supposed to. Alright, let's check out what remains of this chest. And then into this door. <sighs> zombies inside. Yeah, my, my minions are just chewing through this shit, which is the best part. That way I can just save my spells for big stuff. Check out the armoire. And another potion. Eventually I do have to sell a lot of these potions because I just get like dozens and dozens of potions. And I barely use them. Another potion. There's another door. And another house. Okay, what's, what's with this commoner? Uh, you know, I don't even need to question this commoner. You got anything worth taking? Yeah. Alright, thank you. That's all I needed. He's coming in to rob your house. And uh, I'll be on my way. So, this is like the south end that I was talking about earlier. Already looted that. And got another gemstone. Oh look, some more, uh, some more people to save. Oh yeah, really? You're just gonna sit there and run against the corner for a while? Look, this person's gonna die while you're sitting there chewing on the wall. Come on, save this citizen for the experience. Ah, what the fuck? Hired thugs? What the hell did they think they were going to accomplish? Okay, you. Okay, thank you for the experience. Now, what did these thugs drop? Look at the remains. Anonymous letter. This note bears no markings as to who may have written it. The plague spreads more quickly than we could possibly have hoped. The streets are thick with the corpses and, s and the citizens are on the verge of, of open rebellion soon. So, uh, open rebellion. Soon Neverwinter will be brought to its knees and the next phase can begin. But this will not happen if a cure for the Wailing Death is discovered. You must do everything in your power to prevent Arabeth and her agents from ending the plague. This note should be uh, shown to someone in authority and I will grab it and I will pass it on. Come on, open the fucking A. Go ahead and work your magic and unlock it. Now, I do have knock now. Oh, improved invisibility. That's nice. Uh, I cannot learn it because I'm not high enough level. But I will eventually. Doing well so far. Getting lots of gems. Pick up what's left of this, uh, of this chest. And then what is this? The Shining Serpent that I was told about. Uh, let me go up here real quick, make sure I got all the, all the zombies off the walls and stuff. I don't think I can actually enter these towers. These towers are locked up. I'm going to come around the corner and then I'm going to go back to the Shining Serpent. I greet you. Walk the wall? Okay. So they're, they've got no problem keeping the walls safe. They just have a problem actually helping the people below. And this wall makes up a fair amount of the map, too. Holy crap. 
All right. What's this merchant single shingle say? Thomas Wheelwright Wagon Repair. First of all, let me loot the outside. See what is on uh, on availability out here. Again, a lot of treasure for a for a poor area. Okay, what's in here? Hector. Who are you? Okay, you dead? Hector, punch you if you are. No, you're alive. Me? Me, Hector. Me work for Aldo and work hard. Gotta find wagon parts, but me not. Me only find broken stuff. You see any not broken anywhere? Uh, aren't you worried about zombies or plague? Me? Me not scared. Hector punch zombies good and punch plague too if it tried to fight me. Maybe. Me not see plague before. Me just scared of Aldo. He needs parts for wagons, so me look. Not finding anywhere, just broken stuff. Uh... Can't help you. Goodbye. All right. So wagon parts. Let's look on the bookshelf real quick. Official document. This document seems to be official. Okay. Mr. Friedling worked as a coachman to Murren for the entire duration of the previous year, and so couldn't possibly have been present in the city of Calimport for an unmentioned crime. That, I don't know. I'm going to take that, just in case it's valuable. I doubt it will be, but oh well. Alright, nothing in here. Let's just go ahead and um, head on our way. Sure, I'll probably be back here. So it has all the earmarks of a quest. I think I've actually done that quest before. Let's check out this chest. Locked. Come on, open it up. Yeah, by the time Sharwin gets into place, the wolf's already ripped through this shit. Ocean. Okay, uh, anything up here? So here's the Helmite Temple. Hold on, shit. There's zombies! More zombies! And another chest. And then my familiar is off after yet another zombie. God, I'm just walking around looting everything. My minions are doing a grand job of killing things before I have to bother with them. Let's see what's in here. Temple of Helm, Bertrand. Hello. Greetings, stragglers. Forgive my disappointment, but your arrival brings me no joy. Where are my manners? I am Bertrand. You'll for forgive me if I'm a bit distracted. I've been hoping that, well, I need not burden you with my troubles. What are you waiting for? I've been waiting for people fleeing from the zombies. I've lost track of my brother in all the commotion, and I was hoping he would come here. Tell me of your brother? His name is Marcus. Marcus Penhold. I shouldn't be worried. He's quite competent, and the heirloom he carries is powerful, too. Maybe I should seek him out. I would not approach him with that greedy look in your eye. He is well-mannered, but will not abide your intent. Safe passage to you. You'll excuse me if I return to my vigil. All right. So I've got another quest. Looking for this dude's brother. Who is probably lost somewhere in the district. Ah. Combat again. These zombies just keep coming out of the woodwork. And they barely drop anything ever. So they're not like thugs and stuff. They don't drop anything. On. All this shit is locked. Are you kidding? Who leaves that many unlocked? Who leaves that many locked chests out on the uh, on the top here? Oh, I succeeded for once. Come on. Success not possible. And failure. Well, where the hell is Sharwin? Come on, Sharwin. Come out of there. I have need of you. I've got to wander around until she comes out of that out of that uh, out of that doorway. She's just got caught on something. Oh, a zombie. I thought I cleared this area out already. 
Apparently not. Oh well. All right, into this uh, this refugee area. Let's talk to Callahan first. Well, hello to you. All right. Times is tough, and a body could use a little lubrication to keep it moving. Um, I'm walking blind. I need more information about the undead. I don't blame you. Been crazy around these parts. First the plague, then this. We'll all be walking the Warrens before we're through. What are the Warrens? Sorry, local superstition. The Warrens of the Dam, burrowing deep beneath the dead to the very doormat of the hills. It's about the crypts beneath the great graveyard. People imagine the worst because they're all out, they're out of sight. It's nothing. Um, where are the where are the undead coming from? The dying. Seriously, they don't seem concentrated anywhere. And people that die of the plague seem to rise from where they fall. Anyone fighting back against the undead? Harbin Ashensmith is here, and the celebrated undead hunter Drake. He won my Eat the Most Pickled Egg Chambery two years running. He'll deny it, won't even let you ask. But just you think about that when he's being oh so serious. Oh, Jester's Hellmites are in the district somewhere too. Set up a sanctuary, I think. All right. Better get to it. Let me go ahead and uh, track down these guys he directed me to. That carpet is so crooked. Okay, there's Drake, and here's Harbin. Who might you be then? Speak up, speak up. I can't spend much time on pleasantries right now. Too much to do. Um, I'm helping Arab Arabeth. That's you. I expected green recruits, but I've heard you've been helping find these blasted water avian creatures already. Glad you've come. It's a mess in here right now. We've got a zombie infestation, and it would be your job to root out what's behind it. We've been up to our necks in undead, even deeper for short, even deeper for short folk like me. The beggar's nest is just a mess. It is. Any identifiable viable enemy behind this? I wish I knew. Like I said, that will be your job. You find out who's behind this and take them out. There are rumors, sure, but nothing makes much sense right now. I don't have time to talk to everyone. What rumors have you heard? Like I said, I haven't had time to talk to anyone about it, but a couple boys are said to have heard things. Crestall and Gem Gemini. Don't know much about them. Crestall lives just north of the Helmite Shrine. Gemini lives on the, in the, over in the central west section. I think Drake will probably tell you of them as well. He's trying to organize rescues. That's all I know. Back to my other questions. Any other safe locations? Um, okay. Uh, if I find anything, I'll let you know. Here's the thing. I know you're just supposed to keep, peace to keep the peace, but we're up against a wall here. You find out what's happening, and I'll make it worth your while over and above whatever Arabeth wants from you. So off you go, then, and make sure you talk to Drake if you haven't. He's an undead hunter from way back. So let's talk to Drake. Ah, I've heard of the impact you are making in Neverwinter. Good to know you are on our side today. Indeed. I've never seen an, an infestation like this. Undead fester over time, but here they rise before a corpse can even even cools. <sighs> I've seen how dangerous the undead can be. What we need right now is some order in the streets. People need help, first and foremost. We need you. Once people are safe, we can find the source of these undead and get down their throats. I'm sure Harbin agrees, and we'll reward people accordingly for helping. Tell me of any people that need immediate help. The lad Kestrel and the lad Germ Germany were spotted barricaded in their homes. More houses may be overrun. Crestall and Gemini may know of some strange happenings in the area, but we've not been able to interview them as of yet. Tell me of Crestall. His home is in the central east of the district, north of the Helmite Shrine. He is usually with a gang, but they appear to have disappeared. And Gemini. Gemini's home is in the west central section of the district. He has a brother, too, but I have no news of him. I'll look into it. Alright, so that's more quests I gotta do. Let's head on out of here. Okay, uh... I guess I'll just continue north of the Helmite Shrine for now. More zombies! Come on. Let's do this! You guys can attack that zombie any time now. There we go. Wow. He exploded that zombie. And there's more just around the corner. Come on, guys. 
I can use some help over here. Fucking A. I got distracted by more zombies. Fire. Take them out. Alright. Not, not a bad little exchange there. Let's go ahead and light this pyre. Foosh. And loot this wagon. Doing pretty good here so far. What's behind this door? Sorry. It's locked. I think this is where I was supposed to go to uh, talk to that one guy. Oh my god. Zombies everywhere. And there's a second floor here. Let's loot these things first. Because you can't really rescue somebody without robbing them. That's like the D&D &D way. I mean, hell, if you didn't rescue them, they wouldn't have anything to spend it on anyway, right? Oh, there's Crystal. I know there's more in here, right? Nope. Really, now? That's all? Oh, nice, a magic club, so I can... Um... Actually, I don't need that. Oh, well. Thank you for your help. I didn't want to end up like them. Like who? The Sword Coast Boys. These undead are... They were the gang I was in. I thought they would look out for me, you know? I wasn't having anything more to do with them. Not after what happened in Draw, to Draw's rivals. Now they're all dead. Draw's some kind of monster. Who's, who's Draw? A zombie? No way. Draw and his lieutenants are worse. I saw him for a second. They ain't lumbering or slow. They look really evil now. He was the leader of our gang, but I don't know who he's dealing with now. I bet he gave over everyone just so he could be, just so he could be powerful. Who did Draw make a deal with? Who did this? I don't know. At first, I thought the heavies had something to do with it. They're a gang of half orcs, but now they're all undead too. They're all wandering around the warehouse. It's like Draw put them on display, like with all with all his rivals, making a point. Okay, what happened to Draw's rivals? Some of the guys, they wanted to try and get the gang out of town while the plague was going on. You know, save their skins. Draw was leader and said everyone should stay. He said he had a deal that would make the gang really powerful. He wouldn't let anyone leave. Then he changed into something. Now, every, now everyone is dead. Zombies, but different. In Draw, he's still leading them. Don't know how. He's got a powerful friend somewhere. All right, I'm leaving. What are you doing now? I ain't going anywhere. I ain't ending up like them. Not even Draw, if I can help it. All right. So he's rescued. He's got one rescue out of the way. Let's get the hell out of here. And continue on our way to clear up this district. Uh, and there's there's that guy that uh, that that big lumbering guy uh, work, works for. And I'll talk to him shortly. Just give me a second while I loot the place. Out of our way. Go on. Let's take these guys down. And another weak zombie. Got more undead around the corner. Nice thieves tools. Copper ring. Money. That's it. I got some more shit back here. Hold on. A lot of zombies. And then we'll talk to those people standing by that wagon. Holy crap, that's a lot of zombies. Fortunately, they go down real quick. Sharwin's low. Heal yourself, Sharwin. Wait, they just took down my uh, familiar. God damn it. Oh well. Well, go help Sharwin. Maybe I'll I'll heal Sharwin. Give me a second. Here, use this. There we go. Keep her on her feet. 
somebody save me, etc. There's another person up here to save. Free experience. God damn it. Attack him. This citizen's about to die. Yo. What's up? There you go. Got that experience bump. See what's in here. Got a lot of stuff in here. Chest. Got this box. Got another another chest. Got to open a barrel. Damn, people leaving shit all over the place. Body of Marcus. Looks like he didn't get much uh, didn't get very far. Penhold Staff. Base damage 1d6. Uh, feats required. It's a magic staff. Freedom of movement. Hold person and paralysis single use. That's a nice staff. That's a really nice staff. I'm going to put that on a hotkey. I'm going to replace my potions with it. I'm going to take this and examine. This is the journal of Marcus Penhold, a young mage. The details of his life are uneventful, although the last entry is now likely more prophetic than the writer might have wished. I have hidden with the rest in fear of the plague, but I have no such anxiety about some pitiful shambling zombies. My brother awaits at the shrine of the Hellmites to main maintain in the beggar's nest, but I will not be joining him. Finally, there is something real to fight. Indeed. Looks like he should have uh, realized that mages just can't do that shit very well. Come on. There we go. Alright, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. There's still some chests I need to unlock. There's one here. Ale. Better than nothing. Um, yeah, there's, like, something in the corner here. I guess I better go in this direction. Weak zombie over there. Go on. There we go. Open this chest. And it's locked. Go attend to it, Sharwin. Now I just realized something. I can actually summon my my uh my familiar again. Because I hadn't done it since the last rest. There we go. Man, there's just so much to loot. Grab these remains. What's up here? Another chest. And a weak zombie around the corner. Boom. I can solo this. Don't worry about it. There's another weak zombie. Just slowly shambling towards me. Come on. I know you guys can take that chest out. Let's go up here and find out what's in here. Ring. Another chest. Is it going to work? Nope, failure. There we go. Another gemstone. There's plenty to plenty to pick up around here. God damn it, hold on, I'm hitting the wrong key. Come on, let me pass. There you go. Jesus. Well, here's another little... Ah, you know what? There's the sundial. So this tucked away little uh, entrance here. An arcane laboratory with another mephit. Fire mephit this time. Owned. Got some kindling wood. Not bad. 
So I got half of the mage quest done. Doing pretty good. Get the barrel. Oh, wait, wait. That was ammo. Is that the right kind of ammo, though? Yeah, it is. Nice. There's a door there, but I'm not going to go into it just yet. Let's head this way just to un undo the rest of the map. Just to open the rest of the map up. Got another chest. Go tend to it. Success. God damn it. Just about to loot. Ray of Enfeeblement. Not a bad spell. Especially against big bruisers. Potion. What's in this area? Don't look like there's any any uh, zombies or anything. I think I might have already fought them. Oh, wait. No. There's one right there. Dude, keep unlocking the damn chest, Sharwin. Okay, there. I'm going to unlock the chest. Failure. Go to it, Sharwin. And grab this money. Pop this barrel open. Pop that barrel open. Just picking up pocket change from everywhere. See what was in that chest that was giving me so much trouble. Six gold? Man, it's almost not worth it. If I was not so flat broke, I would probably just leave it behind. Let's head up here. Get these crates out of the way. Healer kit. I've got another little alley to go to, and then I can just go ahead and double back and start opening these places I haven't opened yet. Uh, let's go in here. I think this is the place that uh, they were telling me that there was somebody hiding in. There we go. Hi there. I hope you're not looters. Not much I can do if you are, but I hope you're not. I've been fighting undead. You need some help? I could use some. I'm probably going to be dead in an hour. I might know something about these undead. Why do you think that? My brother has been acting funny. He goes to a strange house just north of here. The undead left, left, leave it alone. He's not himself. I think they took his mind. There's a group in there, a cult, and my brother mentions some kind of creature. I don't know more about it than that. It's all happened so fast, right about when the zombies started showing up. Okay, I might check it out. What are you going to do? I, I don't know. I'd like to find him, but I don't know if I could make it. I'll take a look. You stay here. I suppose, though I really wish I could do more. I feel so helpless here. He needs my help. I know it. I have this thing that he used to get in the hideout. Well, I'm sure it's not important. What do I know? The cult hideout north of here is where you're going to look for him. That's where I'd start. All right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to grab these bolts. Now I'm going to go talk to those people in the middle of the middle of the uh, area. So uh, bear with me. Oh, wait. First, I'm going to go in this alley up here. Finish mopping up these zombies. Go down that alley there and see what's what I can pick up. Damn, they obliterated that guy. Sound burst. Miscellaneous crap to pick up. And in here. Whoa. The zombie's right inside the door. All right. And we've got a uh, leaven bread recipe. Take it. Gauntlets of the Minstrel, which I'm going to take just so I can sell it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go talk to those people in the middle of town, and I'm going to go run around turning in quests. And I will see you at each at each place without actually bothering to deal with the run around. All right, let's talk to Aldo. You 
Just watch yourself. If you're dead, so help me, I'll make you deader. Well, that's just rude. Don't make any many friends, do you? Huh, the dead ones don't talk back, so I guess you're okay. Can't blame a guy for being careful, though. You ain't seen a tall folk named Hector, have you? Sent him out for wagon parts and damned if he ain't just disappeared. I've seen him! I have seen him! God damn it. Sorry, I haven't seen him. Dang it down. Do me a favor. If you see him, tell him to get that, those wagon parts back here on the double. I'll tell him if I see him. Good luck. I don't get good luck. I get stuck in a zombie-filled city with a broken wagon and the scorn, my scorn of a wife. Thanks anyway, I guess. All right, uh, so I'm going to go talk to Hector then real quick. He's a long All right. I could use a drink. Hey, more people to talk to. Good, because me want, not want to go back to Aldo without wagon parts. Can't find none nowhere that will work. You see wagon parts? I saw him. He's looking for you. Oh, he probably mad. Me can't find any parts, which means he can't move his stuff. He sure likes his stuff. Maybe you could uh, come with me to tell him there's no parts. He gets real mad sometimes. I'll take you. Sure. Where is he? All right, let's uh, go talk to Aldo. All right, here I am with... There's Aldo, and I've got Hector. Hey, what are you doing with Hector? Tall folk idiot was supposed to get us some wagon parts. I tried, boss. Ain't no parts nowhere, though. I swears it. All right, all right. Relax, you lummox. Let's just figure out what we do now. Time to abandon ship, I'd wager. No parts means no wagon. Oh, well. Thanks for bringing Hector here, friend. I think we'll find our own way out now. No sense staying. Sure is a fine wagon, though. I'll miss you, girl. All right. Let me go uh, turn in this quest with this guy's brother, but I'm going to keep the staff if I can. All right, Bertrand. Uh, I'm sorry, but he fell to zombies. I found his body. That... That cannot be. I, I will not believe it. Not until I see his belongings with my own eyes. Uh, hold up his journal. I found his body. Look, I found his journal. You hold that book with no doubt in your eyes. I, I have to believe you. I did not even know he wrote. And you, what is your intention then? You have this journal. Was there anything else? He had a family heirloom that I would request be returned. <laughs> I have his... Wait, what? I... How about I just not give it to him? I have his things now. Let's talk price. Price? Let me get this straight. You want me to pay for the possessions of my dead brother? What kind of opportunist, opportunist are you? Actually, I was mistaken. I don't have his things. No, I demand payment for his journal. I see. Well, it would appear that if I want these last written words of my brother, I have no choice. Very well, then. I have 400 gold. No more, no less. I assume it will be enough. That will do nicely. Take the lousy journal. And you take your dirty, filthy gold. I hope you choke on it. Now, is there anything else, or are you done bleeding me? Um... I don't have anything else of his. Sure. Are you quite certain? You had the strangest look on your face when you said that. I am very perceptive of such things. No, there was nothing else I found. Your eyes shift, almost imperceptibly, but I see the movement. You dog. You convinced me of my brother's death and then tried to steal his things. What did you find, then? I demand to know. I, I demand it. Uh, let's talk price. You will pay well for it, I think. I simply can't. I have already paid for the journal. I simply have no more gold to give. Then you get nothing. Walk away, then, dog. You are despicable. I hope the spirit of my brother haunts your dreams. I don't know, man. I think that I can actually hold the spirit of his brother. I don't know. Undead or undead immune to hold in third edition? I think they are. Oh, well. I'll remember that when I'm whacking them with the staff. All right, I'm going to go talk to Drake, because I did rescue those other people. Go over what was required. Anyone need any immediate help? Found any new information? About the Sword Coast Boys and a snake cult, though you'll probably already know this. I do know this. Tell me about the Sword Coast Boys. It was probably your efforts that brought this information to light, but he didn't... He didn't actually reward me, so so I've got to continue my... I've got to actually get to the bottom of those things. So in the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deal with 
the Sword Coast Boys and the Snake Cult, and then deal with the Great Graveyard. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Neverwinter Nights Original Campaign. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.